crafts, very young learners. Is it possible? <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> it is. Um, you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, you'll know that I use craft a lot as a way to, to teach uh, language. So, um, but how does that work when you've got three and four year olds? Because um, it's true, and I've made this mistake, um, you know, giving them scissors to, to cut things out when they haven't learned how to use scissors yet. Um, I mean, here in Spain, it's like, I think when they're about four and a half, then they, they're starting to learn how to use scissors. So what do you do? Um, well, I'm just going to show you some examples of the type of activities that, that do work with very young learners so you can get that, that practice in. Um, so at the beginning of the year, a lot of it does centre around uh, colouring, but that doesn't mean that, you know, it's just them sitting there colouring quietly. Um, I usually um, were revising colours so then the, and teaching request language. So can I have red, can I have pink, etc. So, for example, here's one for zoo animals, but you'll see it's, it's actually a jigsaw. So first we'll play with the jigsaw, um, and that's lots of chance to talk about the, the different animals and things that are on there. And then they'll make their own one. Um, and then I usually let them take that home to their parents and encourage their parents to cut it up and they play with it at home and there's a chance to get more English happening there. Um, what else have we got? A cut and paste type activity. So here's for there was an old woman who swallowed a fly. So I I did pre-cut these parts for them, but then they had to kind of listen. We sang the song and they'd go and collect the different parts to stick in. Um, things like uh, flat books as well. Um, so this does involve cutting. Now you can pre-cut for them, but this is something that um, I think works when it's just like a little bit of, a little cut they've got to do. Um, and there are lots of language learning opportunities with this as well. Um, they can still do ugh, mini books as well. Again, I prefer to do the cut and paste. So, and if they want, or if there's time, they can colour or they can do the colouring at home. I do do the pre-folding of the books for them. Um, but I think it's worth it because they still get a lot of practice out of this and they enjoy doing it. Um, so those are the type of... Um, crafts that I can use with very young learners and there's a whole lot more um, you can find them all on the Kids Club English website um, okay thank you for watching